Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to give a little uh, demonstration about how to uh, easily make uh, maps for uh, one of my favorite games, Transport Fever. I don't think I'll ever do a Let's Play for it because I tend to uh, stare at the maps a lot and not I'm not really uh, into making exciting videos for Transport Fever, but I thought I'd show how to make maps because um, this is probably my favorite part. So um, the first thing you need is a program called World Painter. Uh, it's designed for Minecraft, but it uh, has a height map export that works fantastic for Transport Fever. Uh, I have it running here. And um, the first thing you want to do is you want to say File, um, New World. Now, I'm making a dimension of uh, 2K by 2K. Um, Normally, I would make a lot larger than this, but um, um, for this example, I'll just stick with the 2K, and uh, we'll call it um, uh, TF example here. Now, the settings I like to use here is I like to start off with a flat land. I think this is important for flat. I set the ground level at 20 and the water level at 18. The reason I do this is that that, that 18 depth um, unit uh, gives you enough room to make a realistic looking ocean that's deep enough uh, from the ground level. Um, if you go shallower than this, you end up with what looks like just a shallow pool of water. Uh, and especially if you're making oceans, it doesn't look very realistic. I keep beaches on. Uh, I don't know what this does. Um, I keep the simple grass and I don't mess with anything else. So 2K by 2K, you want to keep the height at 256. Uh, flat, level 20, water level 18. So we create, and we end up with this uh, flat green slate. So here comes the fun part. So what I'm going to do for this example is I'm going to simply make a mountain range and a river to show you what can be done. So over here on the left, you have your tools. You want to select this up, down arrow, which is the height, raise or lower. Uh, left click raises, right click lowers. And you can use the wheel. Um, now I'm, I'm on a uh, Windows PC. Um, I don't know if this is different on a Mac. I don't know if this program is available on the Mac. This is a Java. World Painter is a uh, Java program, so it is available on different platforms. You have to have the latest uh, version of Java installed to run it. Anyway, so you select a size. You select a brush. I'm going to use this brush. Now I'm going to show this example. There are certainly ways to make better looking mountains than I'm going to make. I'm just going to show you a, a simple example of how I do it. Uh, then you want to set the intensity to, uh, the intensity normally starts out at 50% here. This is uh, how fast it raises or lowers. I'm going to do 100 just to make this quicker. So when I right click, it's going to raise the terrain. So there we go. You see it raising the terrain. So we'll make a little, a little mountain swirl here. And the slower you go, the more it raises it. So usually I start off with a pretty small brush here because I'm making a, a, the, the sharp part. Now I'm going to go a little wider and I'm going to run over it. And it's going to make a slightly wider mountain. Now eventually I'm going to get to the point where I'm clipping the top end and it's going to flatten out. And when that happens, then you need to use the smooth brush to get rid of that. I'm already not really liking this mountain range, but what the heck? Do a little curve there. Uh, and it's not really raising it as fast as I thought, so let's go one bigger. So you can see this just kind of spreads it out. And what I'm doing is I'm waiting until I get to the point you'll see when it clips all of a sudden it start the top just goes flat and there it is right there okay now so now I've hit the top uh, the uh, 256 distance so I go over here and I select the smoothing brush which is this and sometimes you gotta be careful you gotta, might have to click twice over here the the programs a little weird about selecting over this and then I'm just gonna smooth this out to get rid of that little point like so now I'm gonna add the bumps so I'm gonna select up and down again and I'm gonna select this brush up here which is the bumps 
so that's that's my description does it have a real description noise and I'm gonna put some noise in which is kind of cool you see how it, it just kind of makes it bumpy and we'll spread some bumps out of the place here and, and the longer you hold down the more bumps you get and you see whoops I'm clipping again so I'm gonna have to fix that we'll put some bumps all the way down here and so like the smooth brush and you can you can still keep this uh, actually the smooth tool you can still keep the uh, the noise brush on to smooth out the clipping so now I'm gonna do a river so to do a river you select the height razor lower I'm gonna still use this brush use a much smaller uh, brush size and I'm going to use right click to lower. Now remember I set the um, terrain height to 20 and the water height to 18. So basically when I lower this down it's going to show water. Now this isn't really, it, 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 it's going to show water in this tool because it's making a Minecraft map. We'll have to fix it when we do the next step here to get it to work correctly with uh, Transport Fever. So there is my river. And this takes some doing. You want to go slow enough that it digs down deep enough that you have a deep enough river. And we'll just loop around here like so. And yeah, you see I kind of blew it there. So we'll smooth smooth that out. And that's, that's too big. Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is artwork. And uh, I am not an artist. But anyway, the point is, we just make a little, uh, we just make a little river here. And uh, who do I sound like? I sound like that PBS guy whose name I can't think of right now. Just a little river. Um. But uh, yeah. So anyway, so there's your river, and you want to make sure it's deep enough to be navigable. Um, so a lot of times I'll go over this twice. Uh. uh you get the idea. All right, so there we have it. So now we want to save it. So we do a file, and we say export. And the bottom option is export as high resolution height map, which is key here because it's the high resolution height map that works well with Transport Fever. So you click on it. It's going to want to export it as TF example high res height map. We'll just I'm just going to keep the name the same here, and we export it. Now for the next step, there is a website called transportfevermods.com and on it there is a uh, map creator and um, this is where you turn your height map into a transport fever map so we select new height map and we load the uh, TF example high res height map and it takes a little bit to load and there we go so once it loads there's our map, uh, there's our mountain, but it's a water world right now. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to tweak the lowest point and the highest point. Now, because I did the highest mountain range possible, I'm going to leave the highest point at 500. Uh, the lowest point through trial and error is about 67. Uh, so you have uh, all gray here and the river is uh, blue. That's like we like it. Now, through trial and error, I usually then bump this up by three or four because a lot of times this will be a little too low. So I'll bump it up to 70. Um, and that does shrink the river a little bit, but uh, generally it looks better. Uh, a lot of times it'll look okay on here, and then you'll load it in Transport uh, Fever, and uh, you'll end up with the water world. So anyway, there we go. Now, uh, to get it to load really quick uh, and not do the random town distribute, uh, random town generation or random industry generation, we're going to put two towns on here. Uh, we're going to put town one. Uh, we'll put it over here. And uh, we'll put town, uh, let's call it two. And we'll put it over here. And then you have to have at least two industries. Um, so it doesn't put random industries. So we'll just stick uh, coal mines in. Uh, there's another one. Okay. And then we'll export height map. And it uh, creates a zip file. Now in here, uh, you go to maps and you go to uh, the directory that has your height maps in it. Now inside this directory there's a height map.png and a map.lua. Um, so you copy this whole directory here and then you go to the 
whoops there we go now you go to your um your transport fever directory now i i i, I bought this off steam so mine's in the uh, Steam Apps Common Transport Fever directory, and then there's a subdirectory called Maps, and this is where you store all your maps. And you paste it in, uh, and I've, I've already done this once to test, so um, we'll copy and replace. So that basically puts your directory in here. So now you run uh, Transport Fever, and free game select map you find the map that you created there it is tf example high res and you start it now i've got a couple of mods installed i've got, I've got uh, modifications to the map generation so that i get more trees than normal and i've also got uh, something called snowy mountains installed which basically says above a certain height it'll put a snow line and it also adjusts the uh, tree line um, so it doesn't put trees above a certain height and for me that gives me more realistic looking mountains The map generator I just did is not creating this snow. These are additional mods that you have to get from uh, The transport fever workshop or from that uh, this website the transport fever mods website. So anyway, here we are so this is the map and um, the point being is that I was easily able to create something that I think is uh, realistic looking uh, you have a uh, single mountain range all by itself with snow. Uh, you can see the bumps. I got a little carried away with the noise and the bumps here, but the point is is that they're smooth. I'm not sure what that line is there, but uh, for the most part, they're smooth. Um, a lot of times on some of the maps people create, you actually can see the contour lines um, of the map. And the reason that is is because they use low res height maps with a low color depth. Uh, this generally doesn't do that, although these straight lines are kind of bothering me. I don't know what created that. But um, for the most part, it's smooth. Um, and uh, I think realistic looking. And uh, here's our towns over here. Uh, town one, uh, two coal mines, and town number two, and with a very straight road. And uh, so there you go. There is uh, how to quickly create a map in uh, for Transport Fever uh, using some pretty easy to use tools. And uh, there's the river you see. That, so th the one frustration that I do have is rivers are difficult because if you don't do a nice smooth job, you end up with these triangular river banks. And so this, this takes actual talent to do this right. I don't have any actual talent, so uh, you know, for me that's as good as it gets. But you can see, uh, I believe this circle is about as deep as you can get, and so that that makes a pretty good depth. If if I if I was making an ocean front, um, that makes a good depth for an ocean. I don't want to waste too much space, but I want it to be deep enough to look realistic. And then you don't have to go that deep. Uh, this is a little shallower. Uh, should be deep enough for a. Uh, where's the navigation thing? navigable waters oops not deep enough to be navigable so uh, right there you can see that you do have to make your rivers so deep to actually be able to run ships on them uh, so there's there's a mistake that needs to be fixed um, this can also be tweaked a little bit by by uh, adjusting those um, the settings on this page um, these, the lowest point 70, highest point 500, I could potentially tweak that and make that navigable. I think, though, I just needed to draw that a little deeper. Um, so anyway, that's it. Um, hopefully, uh, with this information, you can go out and create a lot of cool maps and uh, upload them to the workshop so that uh, uh, transport fever uh, freaks like me can play them because uh, we really enjoy the game. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please leave a like if you uh, enjoyed the video and uh, were able to make sense of what I said. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.